How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today what I've got for you is a brand new FIFA 21 squad builder. This is a cheap overpowered squad on FIFA 21 that you can use at the start of the game. I don't think it costs you any more than 50,000 coins and is a really decent squad. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 21 Ultimate Team coins, check out U7 Buy, link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. So this squad is going to be in the 4-3-3 third variation. If you're wondering, I am doing this on Footbin. It's a really, really good site. It's got all the brand new players on. Obviously, we have the top 1,000 and probably we'll have the full database in the next couple of days. So I'd recommend checking out Footbin if you want to check out some squads. So... We're going in goal with the Portuguese goalie from the Ligue 1 is going to be a Lopez. He's 83 rated. Now, at the start of the game, rating doesn't matter a whole lot. You don't typically get fodder value for at least a month uh, when we start getting big SBCs. So Lopez won't be inflated due to fodder value. He'll probably only be a couple of thousand coins because 83 rating doesn't make a difference when you don't have anything to put an 83 rated squad, uh, sorry, an 83 rated player into get an 83 rated squad but he looks decent this year uh decent base card stats he looks all right um 85 uh diving 86 reflexes 80 handling 80 positioning 63 speed and 74 kicking looks like a really well-rounded goalkeeper i believe he's not the tallest of the bunch uh i've got his thing okay he's six foot so he's not the tallest goalkeeper but i don't think it'll make too much of a difference at the start of the game um unless obviously the meta this year is going to be like long range finesse shots again then well, he might be a little bit difficult. Anyway, over at the right back spot, we have got Rist. I don't know how to say this guy's name properly. It's Ristov. Um, where is he? Here he is. Rizdovsky. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. But he's a right back from the Liga Nos. He's 77 rate with 87 pace, 73 defending, 78 physical, and 73 dribbling. Actually, a really decent looking right back card. In fact, I think I can zoom in a, a little bit guys as well uh, so you guys can see this a little bit easier he's a really decent looking right back uh in the Liga Nos. Uh, i think the Liga Nos always have some really cool overpowered cheap players for the start of fifa 20 uh sorry for the start of fifa in general not fifa 20 but fifa 21 uh fifa 20 fifa 19 all the fifas usually have some pretty op players in the Liga Nos, which is why i've sort of gone with this league as a uh, starting league over at the right center back spot we have got pepe now, the only thing that Pepe lacks is a bit of pace. I think he will need a chem style on, maybe an anchor, shadow, uh, or possibly even just anything that can give him a bit of pace. Um, engine card might be cheap at the start of the game. Uh, I'd recommend if you can get your hands on an anchor, do it. I don't think they'll be ridiculously expensive at the start of the game. Um, they won't be amazingly cheap, but I can see them being a couple of thousand coins. They won't be the 5k that they were inflated to this year at some point, so... Uh, I'd go with Pepe over the right back spot. Looks like a really, really solid. Uh, sorry, the right centre back spot. Looks like a really solid right centre back. Some really, really nice in game stats over here for Pepe, uh, especially on the physical and defending area. Uh, I like those a lot. So, over on the left centre back spot now, we have got someone that's pretty OP this year is Diallo. 75 pace, 78 defending, 76 physical, 76 dribbling, and 71 passing. Looks like a really well rounded CB card for the start of the game. I like the look of this card a lot. He looks really, really good and won't be really expensive either. Um, usually, Kimpembe takes up most of the price of the um, PSG uh, centre backs. So, I don't think Diallo will be expensive at all. I think he'll probably be around 1,500 to 2,000 coins at the very most. But he looks really, really good, well rounded, uh, a decent defender. I'm looking forward to trying him out at the start of the game. Great for starter squads as well. And another player that's really good for starter squads is our left back here, Kamara. Um, usually, we don't get cheap left backs uh, like this with good stats in the league. Um, you know, last year we lacked some really good left backs. Uh, same as the year before that. But Kamara looks like a really good start squad option in that left back spot. He's got 88 pace, only 71 defending. It's not the best, uh, but with 76 dribbling and 76 uh, physical, 68 passing, he looks like he'll be a really decent starter left back for most starter squads if you're running a league and setup. And I think he'd, uh, he'd do really well, especially considering you're not going to be playing against the best of the best when you're playing uh, at the start of the game. Like very rarely will you play against the likes of, I don't know, huge icons and things like that at the start of the game um it's very unlikely you'll probably just play against a lot of things like callum wilson and josh king and people like that because people love to go down the premier league route a lot um so he'll be able to i think handle that pretty pretty easily to be honest. so over on the left cdm spot we've got a man called bruno uh guimarez i have never seen this guy before but he actually looks really good a really well-rounded cdm card again Lacks that pace a little bit, but with an engine card or something like that, he'll be really, really good. He's got decent defensive stats, decent uh, physical stats, decent passing stats, decent dribbling stats. 
and of course uh mid to high 60s in both pace and shooting he looks like he'll be really well rounded for a cdm card uh, and i think for a starter squad he'd work really well and he fits uh, he fits in really well with this squad as well um you know he fits how this squad sort of set up and it works really well for the hybrid uh of this squad so over on the right CDN spot, we've got someone that looks incredibly OP. It's going to be Uribe. Now, 78 rated center mid. He looks really OP. He's got really well-rounded stats. 74 plus in all stats for a 78 rated is always really, really good. He's got decent in-games too, and he's got some decent links. So, of course, he links to Pepe, and he'll link to our right winger, which we'll get into in just a second. But he looks really good. So, that's another card I think I'll try out. Uh, again, Liganos always has some really good OP players. And I think that he is one of them that looks really, really good. Anyway, over at the center mid spot, which is going to play uh, Cam as this team, it will play a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3-4. Uh, it's going to be Taliska. Now, Taliska looks obviously really good at the start of this game. He always looks decent. If we have a look at his in-game stats over here, um, he's looking really good now. But 84 acceleration, 76 sprint speed, that can be upped with an engine card. I think an engine is probably the best way to go for here. Uh, 87 agility, 75 balance. Again, it's not the great, not the greatest in the world, but I think an engine card will work um, in upping his balance. Uh, he's got really nice shooting stats, uh, decent physical and passing stats as well. Just all around, looks like a really good card, and he's four star, four star. I'm looking forward to trying that card out to start the game. He was really good at the start of last year. I'm hoping that'll be the same this year. Now, over on our left wing spot, we have got Tyson. Looks really decent. 92 pace, 86 dribbling, 78 shooting, and 75 passing. Um, all round, a really well-rounded winger slash uh, left cam card. I think he'll work really well in either spot. Um, and he obviously, he's going to be really quick. Great at taking on players. I'm looking forward to trying him out um, in the starter squad. Over on the right wing spot now, we have got a man that I'm not going to say his name uh, because YouTube don't like it. But we've got Jesus. There you go. Uh, another card looks really good again 84 rated so yes a lot of people will think he might have fodder value at the start of the game there is no fodder value because there is no spcs that require fodder now on the off chance that we get ones to watch released instantly um and they require like an 84 rated squad which is unlikely but in the off chance that happens uh he might be inflated a little bit but again i don't think he'll be very expensive at the start of the game even with an 84 rated card and i think he'll do really well as a right cam especially considering he's got good defensive stats too so he can track back and make tackles he can get forward and make good passes good crosses um his shooting stats do lack a little bit that's the only thing that i'd say is not the greatest about this card but he's got uh four star skills and a five star weak foot really good pace really good dribbling stats yeah his shooting stats like a little bit of hawk would work really well on this card um but like i said he's got really decent defensive stats he's got good physicals apart from strength which is a little bit low but he's got good stamina as well uh all around a well-rounded card to be honest i do like the look of the card a lot and then a striker we've got the option of a couple we i've put alex to share in here first um because you know he's a really good option looks really really good uh 93 pace 81 dribbling 76 shooting 73 passing 72 physical wow he's a really decent looking card i don't know why i said wow there i meant to say uh well-rounded but i just went wow um uh, really decent looking card the only thing he lacks a little bit is in finishing but again at the start of the game it's not the biggest deal in the world um so you have the option of him or you can go with a different option someone that i really like the team of the season card of last year and it was actually uh jonathan now i don't know where he's gone i don't know how i don't know if i'm spelling his name wrong uh am i spelling his name wrong i was spelling his name wrong but i have found him now jonathan uh really good last year really really like this card last year if you have a look at his in-game stats uh he's got not as good pace as the sharer but i think he's more well-rounded as a striker he's got better finishing stats by a little bit uh, his agility and balance is not, again not the world's best but with an engine chem style that will be in the in the mid 80s for his uh, agility and the low 80s for his balance um he's got 84 jumping 88 stamina 80 strength and of course he's got the four star five star and he's six foot uh last year was really well rounded really enjoyed the card a lot um and i think that he'll be just as good this year as well so of course you can go with either of those there and there are different options you can go with in different positions as well if you want to change out a few plays here or there but this is the cheap overpowered uh starter squad uh, i think is really really good i like the look of it a lot and i think that it's going to play really well in game so let me know what you think of it down below if you've got any starter squad you want me to have a look at and make a video around please leave a footbin link in the comments down below i'll show you how to do that now make your squad on footbin it's really easy then type in your squad name let's call this uh uh haber starter squad click on save and it will take you to the web page uh when you've saved it where you can literally just send me a link and i can check this out in full hd um without having a very small image taken um, and at the top you'll have your link of course just copy that link 
um, and send it to whoever you want to send it to, basically. Uh, really, really easy. Um, that's how you save a footprint squad. You don't even need an account for it. I don't, I'm don't. i not logged into my account in the minute. You don't even need an account. So that just makes my life easier and I think will make your life easier as well. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like down below if you did. I'll see you later.